Good morning children. Already in our previous class, we studied about Newton's laws of motion. We studied about Newton's first law and Newton's second law. Are you clear about that one? So, Newton's second law says that F is equal to ma. F is equal to ma. The rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the applied net force and is along the direction of the net force. So that is F is equal to ma. Or force applied on a body is is equal to m times the acceleration that is known as what we call it a newton's second law so in this class we are going to study the working of atwood machine what is that this is known as atwood machine actually this is not the atwood machine just i designed it okay using the laboratory equipment are you clear about that one? so with this we can prove newton's laws of motion first law second law and third law but today we will concentrate the acceleration acting on the loads on the loads for example you see this one these two are known as the loads what is the acceleration acting on the loads and what is the tension produced in the string this is known as what we call it the string okay in extensible string are you clear so for that one what are the materials needed what are the materials needed the first one see this one this is in extensible string in extensible string in the sense in extensible ante ye vidamaina atuvanti saagadaniki avakasham lena atuvanti oka dharam gatti dharam ardham aitunda so the other condition is weightless string weightless string but practically it is not possible baru lekunda unde atuvanti string anedi manaku undadu kabatti it is negligible next one the second one is pulley this is known as the pulley okay next one this is also frictionless pulley and weightless pulley frictionless and weightless pulley ante ye vidhamaina atonti garshana undana atonti pulley undali tarvata ade vidhanga weightless ye vidhamaina atonti baruvu lena atonti dai undali ante conditions annatu practical ga it is not possible next one and weights what is that weights loads rendu loads teeskunnanu whose masses are m1 and m2 m1 and m2 okay see observe this one before starting the experiment i have taken in extensible string see this one this is the in extensible string and i tied the two ends of the in extensible strings to the loads to the loads this is load l1 and this is load l2 okay so here i have taken equal masses m1 and m2 both are equal l1 m1 and m2 both are equal see this one this is 60 grams this is also 60 grams okay equal see this one how much 60 60 are you clear let us assume that i have taken each each uh, iron uh, sheet weights 50 grams 6 5 is 300 grams here also 300 grams m1 and m2 loads are equal the masses of two loads are equal of the this one when i suspended equal masses with the help of the string to a pulley to a pulley of the this one they are at rest only they are at rest okay until unless there is no external force acts on your body the body which is at rest continues state of rest and which is in uniform motion continues state of uniform motion are you clear until unless until unless bahya bala prameyamu lenanta varaku nichala sthiti lo unna tondi vastu nichala sthiti lone untundi ade vidhanga samavegam tho ruju margam lo prayanam chese tata tondi vastu samavegam tho ruju margam lone prayanam chestundi so when the net force is equal to zero when net force is equal to zero because equal masses are suspended equal masses are suspended this is newton's first law are you clear next using this atwood machine atwood machine actually this atwood machine in this experiment is done in the year 18th century in germany atwood machine was designed by a scientist german scientist are you clear to verify the newton's laws of motion particularly newton's second law next one what is the acceleration produced in the string what is the acceleration produced in the spring for example see this one how the acceleration is produced when an unbalanced force acts on the string ante net force zero kakapote net force falita balam zero kakapote falita balam ante what do you mean by net force what do you mean by net force the algebraic sum of all the forces that are acting on the 
on the body is known as what we call it net force adam aitunna vaatu oka vastu paina pani chese tatonta anni balala mottanni manam em antam ra net force antam algebraic sum bga mottanni manam em antunnamo net force antunnam so when net force is not equal to zero what happens the body gets acceleration the body gets acceleration the acceleration is along the direction of the net force the acceleration is along the direction of the net force are you clear now come to the point see after this one See this. Here, if you observe this carefully, here two loads are suspended to the string. Two loads L1 and L2 are suspended to the strings whose masses are M1 and M2. But here M1 is greater than M2. M1 is greater than M2. Because see this one here 300 grams is there, here only 250 grams are there. 250 grams are there. Next one, if I remove one more observe the motion observe the motion here observe this see here how many grams 300 grams here no 4 only 4 means each is 50 grams 450 is 200 grams so here here the weight is heavier than this one observe this one i left it observe the motion of the pulley what is happening what is happening the load is moving in the downward direction the load is moving in the downward direction two loads are there observe this one observe this one why the load is moving in the downward direction because of acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity but at at the load is moving in the downward direction this load is supported by an upward supportive force known as tension what we call it tension tension is nothing but an upward supportive force an upward supportive force which acts opposite to the opposite to the motion of the body that is the body is moving in the downward direction it is acting along the string in the upward direction along the upward direction are you clear about that so this tensional force supports the supports the string supports the weight falling from falling from acceleration that is the acceleration due to gravity are you clear about that so this tension this tension tension is nothing but an upward supportive force which acts against to the gravitational force against to the gravitational force in a string in a string Gurutva Karsina Balani, Vetreka, Dishalo, Paniche, Seta, Twenty, Balani, and Mountainamo tension unto them, Mountainam, Tanyata, Balamontanum. Adamitana, children, E. Darmela on the Gattikaipo, in the Gattikaipo, in the Oka Balamu, the opposite direction of Panjistundi. Adamitan, the weight of the body is acting in the downward direction, whereas tensional force is acting in the upward direction. Are you clear? Abdur this one. Observe this one. Why it is moving down? Why it is moving down? Because of the load is high. Load is high. Are you clear about that one? Because the load is high, acceleration due to gravity is also high, weight of the body is also high. At the object is not falling down because of the tensional force. Because of the tensional force. Now let us derive the acceleration produced in the string. Acceleration produced in the string. The string is moving with the uniform acceleration. It is moving with the uniform acceleration. Let let us calculate what is the acceleration produced in the loads in the loads at the same time we will calculate tensional force we will calculate tensional force are you clear about that one so let us try to derive the formula for acceleration produced due to the suspension suspending the loads on either side of the string are you clear shall we derive that derivation acceleration what is the acceleration produced in the string at the same time what is the tension what is the tension are you clear let us do that uh, derivation part okay now i am keeping this aside pass a little bit to me let us calculate i told you m1 is greater than see this one the mass is greater than m1 is greater than m2 that's why this is this load is going down this load is going down so i have drawn the free body diagram up to this one this is the free body diagram for load m1 load m1 the mass of the load is m1 and see this one 
नेक्स्ट सी दिस इज द टेंशन द अपवर्ड एरो शोस द टेंशन एक्टिंग अलॉन्ग द स्ट्रिंग टेंशन ऑलवेज एक्ट्स इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सी दिस वन द टेंशन इज एक्टिंग ऑब्जर्व दिस वन द टेंशन इज एक्टिंग इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन आर यू क्लियर अबाउट दैट वन सो टी इज द टेंशनल फोर्स यूनिफॉर्म टेंशनल फोर्स व्हिच इज एक्टिंग इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन नेक्स्ट एफ नेट इज इक्वल व्हाट इज द नेट फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी m1 ऑफ मास m1 सी दिस वन हियर सी दिस वन you know that from newton's second law f is equal to ma so what is the net force m1 g minus t m1 g minus t why m1 g minus t weight is heavier weight is heavier when compared to m2 are you clear m1 is greater than what is the condition we have taken m1 is greater than m2 here are you clear that's why f net net force is equal to m1 g minus t tension so this is equal to see this one from newton second law m1 a is equal to m1 g minus t let it be equation number 1 come to the free body diagram of second one free body diagram here observe this one observe this one this is m2 this is m2 are you clear it is moving up it is moving up acceleration is also in the upward direction acceleration is also in the upward direction but here the acceleration is in the downward direction are you clear now come to the point the same newton second law when i applied f is equal to ma from newton second law f is equal to ma when i applied the same formula m2 a is equal to t minus m2 g t minus m2 g why why i have taken t minus m2 g here i have taken see this one m1 g minus t but here i am write i am writing t minus m2 g why because m2 is less than m1 m2 is less than m1 that is why m2 a is equal to t minus m2 g so what is the first equation this is the first equation m1 a is equal to m1 g minus t next second equation is m2 a is equal to t minus m2 g adding adding the two equations m1 plus m2 a is common is equal to m1 g minus t plus t minus m2 g plus t minus t gets cancelled what is left over here i am writing here see this one m1 plus m2 a is equal to m1 g minus m2 g here g is common so take g as common factor m1 minus m2 now acceleration produced in the string is equal to m1 minus m2 see this one a is equal to m1 minus m2 divided by what is that m1 plus m2 here g is common see this one i made a as the acceleration as the subject a is equal to m1 minus m2 g divided by m1 plus m2 so this is the acceleration produced in the string acceleration produced in the string so newton's second law this atwood machine is useful in making elevators lifts untai kada lifts what is the tensional force how much load is to be added okay so lifts and elevators works on the principle of atwood machine atwood machine so are you clear about that one so this is how to derive acceleration produced in the string okay and how to prove the newton's laws of motion first law and second law we proved this one at the same time we can calculate the tension t is equal to when you substitute see substitute here i am writing substitute substitute a is equal to m1 minus m2 g divided by m1 plus m2 in equation 1 what is the equation 1 either equation 1 or equation 2 in equation 1 what is equation 1 m1 a 
in place of a how much you have to write m1 minus m2 into z divided by m1 plus m2 next is equal to m1g minus t okay make a note of it keep it in pass pass to it should the value of acceleration the tension in the string is given by t is equal to m1 m2 g by m1 plus m2 make a note of it so this is the simple model to demonstrate the working of atwood machine atwood machine so elevators works on the principle of this atwood machine so we calculated acceleration produced in the string due to the suspending the loads on either side of the string at the same time what is the tension produced in the string okay right thank you make a note of